a computer-aged photo of missing girl Madeline McCann. Now, this is what she might look like today at the age of nine, five years after she disappeared while on vacation with her family in Portugal. British investigators think that it is possible Madeline is still alive and they have launched a massive review of more than 40,000 pieces of evidence. Joining us now, criminal profiler Pat Brown, and Pat is writing a book on the McCann case. Uh, hi, Pat. Hi, Sandy. So Scotland Yard wants to reopen the investigation, and they're saying uh, the evidence suggests that Madeline may still be alive. Do you believe it? Well, I'm kind of wondering where they're coming up with that because, uh, first of all, if she were kidnapped and were somewhere out there in the world, she's had her face. This is the most well-known child, missing child in the entire world with tremendous publicity. Uh, her photo has been everywhere and she has a particular unusual eye called a boma, which is a real standout. So that somebody would never have seen her or that anybody would keep her around with that particular, you know, identifying mark and run around in public with her is so unlikely that it's hard to believe that, that she would pop up after all this time. Also, there's a simple fact that if she were abducted, it would be most likely by a local person, right, in Praia de Luz. Uh, that's what all the evidence points to if it were an abduction. So we would be looking at a, a local child sex predator who would probably have killed her within the hour. That's what we have for all the statistics. So I, I'm not quite sure where they're coming from. I'm not sure what any of the evidence they're, they're reviewed tells them that she's out there someplace when they haven't, in fact, even proven an abduction and they haven't brought the parents back in and the friends and done all the, the proper re-interviews and they haven't done another crime reconstruction. I'm not quite sure where they're coming from, but uh, yeah. there's always hope, and, you know, we have that. Yeah, no, true. Always good to have hope. But, you know, they've, they've built up a huge uh, portfolio here, if you will. 37 investigators on the case now. They said that they found 195 investigative opportunities that weren't looked at, some simple, some complex, uh, and they're only a quarter of the way through the documents. Now, I gather that they, whatever their investigation is in the, in the U.K., holds no sway in Portugal. All of this would have to go back to Portugal, uh, police in Portugal, would it not? That's correct. The Portuguese would have to reopen the case, which, by the way, can be reopened if the McCanns just ask it to be reopened. They have not done so. Uh, but yes, they would have to conduct the investigation. Now, of course, if it's true that the Met finds really great information that convinces the Portuguese police that there's something out there that they've completely overlooked, great information to say Madeline is alive somewhere and they need to go look for her, or that she isn't alive but they could focus in on a suspect well they would probably do that but uh, I'm just not sure where they're coming from as I said when you when you review a case you always go back to the beginning and I don't understand why they the, this particular investigation this review shall we say has skipped the beginning and gone to looking at a massive amount of tips because we all know that there's so many tips that come in in cases and you can just drive yourself crazy running down every one of them so you have to go back to the evidence and, and, and re review the actual crime, all the crime scene evidence and start there. Okay, Pat Brown, thanks so much. Thanks, Sandy.